Hey everyone, this is Derek here, and in this video, I'm going to showcase how to earn Royal Pass rank faster. So, let's go into the Royal Pass interface. This was introduced with the recent 0.6.0 global update, of course. And Royal Pass rank is independent of your character level, which is 33 for me, or your character's ranking, which is platinum. So, I am level 28 in Royal Pass, this varies from 1 to 70, and at the end of the season, August 18th, this will be reset, and the rewards will be different for the next season, which means that, once again, you can earn your way through these levels and unlock some pretty cool rewards. So, first way to gain Royal Pass rank faster is to purchase it, don't worry, that's not, you know, clickbait what this video is about, but I just want to make you aware, if you aren't, that for one you see you can purchase one royal pass point and you need 100 points to progress through each level so basically one full level of royal pass equals 100 uc which you can purchase with real money but what we're going to be talking about today is how to maximize royal pass points earned through completing missions so you have both daily missions and challenge missions which are weekly and the challenge missions, of course, are worth more because they're more difficult to complete. Daily missions, you know, these are pretty easy. And the strategy behind this video is in which mode you want to play to complete these missions as quickly as possible. So travel for a total of 500 meters in any mode. That one, I'd say mini zone or classic. It's going to be easiest to find a vehicle. And you can complete this task and then just leave the game if you want to. You know, that way you can grind these guys out as quickly as possible. I wouldn't recommend doing that if you are in a squad with friends, but if you're just playing alone, why not just complete the mission and, you know, complete as many missions as you can in that mode and then jump out, move into another mode and complete missions for that. Uh, because maximizing your Royal Pass points shouldn't take a long time. So complete one match with friends, just queue with a friend and then leave. Um, you guys could both do that together, obviously. You can kill one enemy with an M416. I would do that one in either uh, Item Heaven of Quick Match Arcade. That's probably the best, you know, the fastest way to do it. Or potentially in uh, Classic or Mini Zone. Next, we've got some challenge missions. These ones are tougher, but don't worry. Kill one enemy with an M24. That's a crate-only weapon. However, it should show up pretty frequently if you're playing sniper training bolt action only. So that's how I would get that one done. Open an airdrop once. I would do that one in mini zone because it's a lot easier to get to the airdrops in mini zone versus classic, and they're more frequent. Kill three enemies by headshot. That one should also be done probably in sniper training because... It's a lot easier to get headshots when you are using a sniper and a scope. Get a frag grenade in 20 matches. This one could be done just with quick match arcade mode. You know, that way you can just find a frag grenade, pick it up, leave, queue for another one, pick it up, you know, repeat. Uh, spend 10,000 BP. That one, there's really no easy way to do that. That's just buying a lot of crates with BP. Get a holographic sight in 20 matches. This would also be a quick match arcade mode, in my opinion, would be the fastest way to do it. Finish in the top three once in any mode. That one I would also do arcade mode just because the matches are quicker and if you play conservative, it's pretty easy to get into the top three. Kill a total of 50 enemies. Once again, quick match arcade mode. It's easier to rank up or rack up those kills in that mode versus playing longer classic matches. Even if you're only getting three or four kills in arcade mode, that's better than getting 10 kills in classic and taking five times as long, you know? Kill an enemy from 100 meters away three times. That sounds like we'll get that one from sniper training mode, of course. And kill 15 enemies with an M416. That one, uh, that could be anything, honestly. I mean, you could either seek out an M416 in classic and just try to own with it, or you could perhaps uh, go for those item heavy matches and try to find one because it's a little easier to find an M4 in that mode and try to get some kills. So that's the strategy behind this video. It's in completing missions looking at the mission, figuring out which game mode you can complete it the easiest in, and then taking advantage of that. So there's no, you know, other than purchasing the Royal Pass levels for real money, or you see, there's really no shortcut. However, completing as many missions as possible means that you'll be gaining as much free Royal rank as possible, because some of these are worth a lot, like 80. This is if you have the Elite, um, Royal Pass Elite Pass. However, some of these missions are giving 80 RP, which is 
80 UC is, I don't know what that is offhand, but it's probably like $1.50 or something or $1.25 US dollars. So that's quite a bit. So, and even these normal missions for 30, 40, 50 RP, that's, that's a lot. So instead of spending the real money, if you're playing the game anyways, you might as well earn them through missions. So hopefully this video makes sense. If it helped you out, definitely give it a thumbs up to help grow the channel. Share it with your friends. I really do appreciate it. And consider subscribing if you haven't already for tons more PUBG Mobile content. My name is Derek G, and I hope to see you on the battlefield soon, or in my Discord server, which I'll also leave a link to down below.